Before we start, in my Unity scene, I have a canvas with an image that spans across the lower half of the player's screen. Within the image, in the hierarchy, are two Text Mesh Pro UI elements. The first one is to label the subject of the dialog, and the se ow, I bit my freaking. Li and the second one is the container for the dialog itself. Now to get started, create a new class called Dialog Manager. Attach the class onto the image, and once that is done, open up Visual Studio and let's get coding. First, create a class that will store the parameters for specific dialog segments. The subject text variable will be used to store the speaker in a given segment. The dialog to print variable will store the actual dialog that will be displayed. The skippable variable is self-explanatory, and the letters per second variable is the speed at which the dialog will print. Now create the following variables in the dialog manager. The dialog segments array will store the sequence of dialog that will be displayed. The subject text variable will store a reference to the text mesh pro UI object in the dialog that displays the subject of the dialog in a given segment. The body text variable will store a reference to the text mesh pro UI object in the dialog that displays the dialog of the subject in a given segment. The dialog index variable will store the current dialog segment that the dialog manager is currently on. The playing dialog variable will store whether or not the dialog manager is adding in the text of a dialog to the body text. Lastly, the skip variable will store whether or not to skip the whole dialog typing process. Once the variables are down, create the player dialog coroutine. In this coroutine, we set the playing dialog variable to true. This is done to dictate how the spacebar will work with the dialog system. Next up, the body text and subject text within the dialog UI will be set to their default empty state for the given dialog. After that, it stores a float for the time between each characters are added, and it iterates over each character of the body text string that will be displayed. For every character, it will first check if the player wants to skip the dialog. If the player does, then the body text will be set to the finished dialog. The skip variable will be set to its default state, and the loop will break. If the player does not want to skip, then we create a string variable that will be the chunk of the characters that will be added to the body text. If a whitespace character is iterated over, then it will add in the next character after the whitespace character and increment the loop pointer. This is done just to account for spaces between words. After that, the character chunk will then be added to the body text that will be displayed, and the loop will pause for the specified delay declared before the loop. After the whole loop, the playing dialog state will be set to false, and dialog index will be incremented. Now in the update function, the skipping and continuing will be handled. Whenever the player presses the spacebar, the dialog index is checked if it is outside of bounds of the dialog segments array. If it is outside of the array, then the script is disabled and the running of the function is stopped. Now if the dialog index is not outside of the dialog segments array indices, we check if the dialog is playing or not. If it is not, then the play dialog function is called for the dialog segment at the given dialog index. If it is playing, then we check if the dialog is skippable. If it is, then the skip boolean is set to true and everything else is handled in the coroutine. Lastly, in the start function, the play dialog function is called to kickstart the entire dialog system. You can also do this via interacting with objects or setting off triggers, but for the sake of this tutorial, it will begin in the start function. Now if you go into Unity and set up some dialog, you will have a functional customizable dialogue system. That is all for this tutorial. Like and subscribe, and I hope to see you all in the next video. Goodbye.